It's the night of the 13th of October 2013. Just a few weeks before the coalition government, despite scientific advice, warnings from conservationists and animal rights groups, and major concerns expressed by the public, began to kill British badgers as part of their 25-year bovine TB strategy. Badgers are legally protected, so special licenses have to be issued before any badgers can be killed. The government has appointed an independent expert panel that will, along with other objectives, attempt to assess the humaneness of coal contractors free shooting badges. That is why there are three people that witnessed the shooting of a badger on this particular night. A monitor acting on behalf of the independent expert panel, plus a shooter and his buddy. These two will get payment from the coal company for every badger carcass. The monitor has a thermal imaging camera that will record the whole event, as the report dryly puts it, from first shot to last movement. And before we go any further, it's important to know that the panel, or government, has judged that a badger is killed humanely if it dies within five minutes from the first shot. The panel has decided they cannot measure fear or suffering. They will only be able to assess marked pain. What follows is the detail from factual accounts freely available online. First though, let's introduce the badger. Although, like so many others, it has become a number in the government statistics, it was once an individual. For argument's sake, Let's imagine that he's a male in the prime of his life. On the 13th of October 2013, he may well have been focused on looking for worms in what is for him a perfect badger world. Little did he know that 30 metres away across a flooded ditch, people are intensely watching his every move. Suddenly, ah! as the shot rings out, the clock begins to tick. The monitor must record everything from first shot to last movement, so her account begins at naught seconds. It collapsed to the ground. And during the next 48 seconds, the body is off the ground, supported only by its front legs. The badger has no use of its back legs. At 30 seconds, there's a second shot. The badger is trying to move. From 49 to 50 seconds. Recumbent. That's sprawled, spread-eagled, prostrate, supine to you and me. Recumbent, lifting head. 51 to the top. At 60 seconds, a third shot rings out. At 67 seconds, the badger is... Immobile. 68 to 72 seconds. Recumbent, lifting head. One minute and 13 seconds later, none of the three people have moved. They are watching and recording. For the next second. Front of body off ground, trying to move. 75 to 76 seconds. Out of view. For the next 22 seconds, the badger is. Immobile. One minute and 40 seconds after the first shot hit the badger and after the further two shots, the badger is. Out of view. The badger remains out of view for the next four minutes and 27 seconds. This is the time it takes the monitor and spotter to walk along the flooded ditch to a bridge and to cross over to the other side where the badger is either trying to move or is immobile, or both. No one knows. Nothing is recorded. We can imagine, though, the fear and suffering and the marked pain. It is not known why the coal contractor with the gun stays at his original shooting position. Six minutes and eight seconds from when the first shot hit the badger, the recording can begin again. We find the badger is... Recumbent, lifting head. This activity continues for another long 39 seconds. Although the independent expert panel isn't assessing fear or suffering, this slow and lingering death has already exceeded the five-minute criteria for a humane free shooting. Once again, the badger is... Out of view. Just under seven minutes, and the badger is... Recumbent, lifting head. 
another 14 seconds. Unable to determine behaviour. Studies of gunshot wounds on humans in armed conflicts show that some humans experience marked pain immediately. Some experience marked pain after five minutes. Arguably, the five minute threshold may be too high anyway. So, if we're honest, no one has any idea when this particular badger started to experience marked pain. He's already been shot three times. The post mortem that follows show he was hit in the head, legs, abdomen, spine, and shoulder. No one knows where he was hit first, second, or on the third time, or whether one of these shots missed. For the next seven seconds, the badger is... Recumbent, lifting head. Another 30 seconds, and the badger is... Immobile. At eight minutes and 28 seconds after the first shot hit the badger, he is... Recumbent, lifting head. 14 seconds later, there is a fourth shot. <laughs> Fifth shot, 28 seconds later. <laughs> These are head and leg wound. 56 seconds after that, the badger is... Immobile only for a brief seven seconds. Unbelievably, it's 10 minutes and four seconds. And probably after being hit by at least four shots, the badger is recorded as... Recumbent, lifting head. The post-mortem results reveal that one of the five shots has missed the badger. And maybe more. It is only now that the contractor starts to walk towards the badger. But remember, he has a long way to go. For three seconds, the badger is... Immobile. There are no further observations from the thermal imaging camera. 13 minutes and 56 seconds from the first shot hitting the badger, the contractor finally reaches him. And the fifth and last shot is fired. <laughs> we can only assume the badger was still alive when the contractor reached him. What is certain is that this badger experienced considerable pain. Most people would also understand the fear and suffering he went through. This badger is not alone. The independent expert panel recorded that behaviours displayed by badgers after being shot at included running, galloping or trotting, standing or sitting with fast erratic movement of the head, body and legs, but no lateral movement, recumbency with smooth movement of the head, and recumbency with apparent involuntary movement of only the legs. The independent expert panel concluded that free shooting badges was inhumane. 6.3% survived longer than five minutes after being shot. The British Veterinary Association withdrew support from free shooting in May 2015. But the government hasn't listened. Since May 2015, at least 39,344 badgers have been killed by free shooting. Less than 1% of these have been monitored or observed. Self-reporting from cull contractors records some badgers are wounded, but are never found.